Hi there, music lovers. This is John of Hornsmasher.com. And if you're new to trombone playing, I'm here to help you get off to a great start with some basic information about how your trombone works and showing you the proper care of the instrument. We're going to do this in three easy steps, showing the proper assembly, disassembly, and daily maintenance you should be doing on your trombone. Along the way, I'll give you some helpful tips and show you how to avoid some common mistakes. So are you ready? Let's get to it. When we open the case, this is not what we want to see. Items like music folios, books, or even our lunch have no place inside the case. The case is designed to hold the instrument and the accessories only. Any other items in the case could put dents in the tubing and cause damage to the instrument. This is what we should see when we open the case. And we'll begin with the description of the instrument's different parts. The trombone comes out of the case in two primary pieces. The first is called the bell unit. The second is the slide unit. And also, there is the mouthpiece, which is put into the horn after the assembly of the two main pieces. We first inspect the two main sections to see if the moving parts are working properly. The bell unit has a main tuning slide, which is used to tune the horn relative to other instruments. We want to check this slide before we play to be sure it's easy to move. If the tuning slide is hard to move, it's time to lubricate the slide. In my care kit, I recommend and supply the Selmer slide grease as I feel it is the best quality product for the job. After removing the slide, we squeeze a thin bead onto each inside slide tube and distribute it around with our fingers. This stuff is a bit messy and you should always have a paper towel handy to wipe off your hands. We then work the slides in one at a time to distribute the grease around the slide and we finish by reinstalling the slide. Next, we need to inspect our hand slide. Before we do this, we need to release our slide lock. The slide lock is used to keep the slide from moving when it's not in use. All we have to do is turn it one quarter turn away from the lock tab. If our slide has been pre-lubricated, and just seems a little bit sticky, all that we need to do is to spray it with water. For this, we use our trombone spray bottle. It's important that we only use distilled water. Tap water contains hard water deposits that will build up on the slide. We start by pulling our slide nearly all the way out, and we use our spray bottle to mist down both of the inner slide tubes. Then we simply work the slide in and out. If the slide still seems rough, or it's been over a week since you've done an inner slide treatment, it's time for us to treat the inner tubes. We start by removing the outer slide, completely exposing the inner tubes. We then take a paper towel and wipe off all the old lubricant to remove any grit or contaminants that have built up. You will notice that the end section of the inner slide has about a six inch long section that is larger than the rest of the tube. This is called the stockings, and the stockings are the only area of the inner slide that actually touch the outer slide. This is also the only area that we apply our lubricant. In my care kit, I recommend and supply the Yamaha Slide Lube. To begin, we squeeze a thin bead of the lubricant on both of the inner stocking tubes. We use our fingers to distribute it. And this stuff will also be a bit messy and we want to have a paper towel handy to wipe off our fingers. We then work the lube into the outer slide by placing the inner tubes back in, one at a time, and rotating the tubes about 90 degrees as we work it back and forth in the outer tubes. Next, we spray the inner tubes with our distilled water and repeat the working in one slide at a time.
We finish by reassembling the entire slide and resetting the slide lock by turning it back one quarter turn till it engages with the lock tab on the slide. The instrument should be assembled the same way every time. A set routine ensures a consistent result. To begin the assembly, we pick up the bell unit and hold it in our left hand with the bell facing down. Next, we pick up the slide unit. The slide unit has what is called a tenon that fits into a receiver on the bell section. To begin the assembly, we slide the tenon into the receiver and rotate the slide until it is about one inch away from the edge of the bell. We finish by turning down the slide lock nut clockwise until it's finger tight. The slide lock keeps the slide from moving while the horn is being played. The last part of our assembly is the installation of the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece has a tapered shank which fits into a tapered receiver on the instrument. To install it, we line it up straight with the receiver, push it in gently till it stops, and then give it a quarter turn clockwise. This is all that is necessary to secure the mouthpiece. Some students make the mistake of thinking the mouthpiece needs to be tighter, and they use the palm of their hand to tap it in harder. This move can have serious consequences, causing the mouthpiece to get stuck. If your mouthpiece ever does get stuck, never try to remove it with force by using pliers or other tools. The bracing on the trombone is not very strong, and you can literally tear your horn to pieces by doing this. If your mouthpiece is stuck, take it to your music teacher or to a local repair shop where a special mouthpiece puller can be used without damaging your trombone. The first part of our disassembly is the removal of the mouthpiece. We do this by holding the horn in playing position with our left hand, using our right hand to turn the mouthpiece counterclockwise as we pull it straight out. You will notice that when you're done playing, there's still water on the inside of the mouthpiece that we need to clean out, using first our pipe stem cleaner to dry out the inside, and last, our hornsmasher.com cleaning cloth to dry off the outside of the mouthpiece. We continue by disassembling the two main parts. We do this by loosening the slide lock nut counterclockwise until it pulls away from the horn. Then we twist the slide unit until the two pieces separate. And we finish the process by wiping our fingerprints off the horn before we put it away in the case. We simply wipe down the large surface areas. And we do the same on the slide unit. When you go to put your trombone away, you will notice that all cases have a special place to put the bell unit, mouthpiece, and slide unit. Well, music lovers, that about wraps it up. This is Horn Smasher John, reminding you that following this daily routine will help you have many years of problem-free service and keep your instrument sounding great. All of the materials used in this video are available in my official hornsmasher.com trombone care kit, available for purchase on this website. See ya!